Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today we're gonna make some small pages using fabric, and this is for the February Fabric Junk Journal Challenge. Okay, so let's go ahead, and we are gonna start with a very, very simple page. This is a piece of fabric that is just already ready. I'm gonna fray that one edge. There was a string hanging off there. And literally, this is going to be my page, okay? Just, just, just like that. So I'm going to want to go ahead and put, put it down, okay? And so we're coming down to the end of the pages. You know what? Let's go ahead and that's, that's an easy one. Okay. So I'm just going to glue the edges of this one. It's going to give me a page that I can add things to in the journal. So just, just like that, it's going to be a page. So the next page I have is we are going to take this envelope, envelope, and we are going to go ahead and use this as a template. Okay, so we're going to use this as a template. I'm going to draw around it. Okay, so we're going to do two envelope ideas. Um, one of them, we're going to actually use the envelope. Okay, we've already made our 15 fabric ideas, but this is going to give you some more page ideas that you can use for your 15 page ideas. There we go. Let's make sure that that we drew, that our pen worked all the way around because it is kind of not fun to have it not work. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, cut this out. Okay, and I'm cutting on the inside of the line or trying to. I'll start by cutting all the straight pieces, then we'll come back and the special trimming. Okay, so that gives me two little, well, actually three little stripe pieces. Okay, so this one, we're gonna wanna go ahead and cut around that. That can go up there in my, uh, little scraps. This one will cut. This one will cut. And this one. Okay, so we're just cutting those little divots out. Throw those away. Okay, so, oh, almost forgot this one. Okay. And on this particular envelope, I'm going to go ahead and I do want it to be closed. And so, let's see. So, I'm going to bring it in here. Bring it in and give it a good fold. Okay. I'm also going to go ahead and add some glue into the fold. And what that's going to do is that is going to help to stabilize my envelope to make this an actual um, page or a flip. But by putting the glue in here, it does close up the pocket a little bit, but you'll actually, um, it will give us a little more stability. Okay, so we're going to come to the next one. 
and we're going to, to the inside of that little V divot that we cut out. Okay, get our fold and add our glue. So have you made an envelope out of fabric before? You can use your um, envelope punch board to make your template also. Or you can go ahead and cut down any, any envelope. Huh, for some reason, we're just not getting a good bead of glue. There we go. Okay. Okay. And folding that down. And you'll see, you get, it's, it's more substantial. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here and put these pieces down. Get our fold. So let's start with our fold, putting our glue in our fold. And then folding it over. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and come over here and I'm going to put glue on these pieces. So glue on the side flaps and then I can put that down and then I can go ahead and just add glue along the edge. Okay, and all that's going to help with the stability of your envelope. Okay. That came undone, so we'll go ahead and go right onto the, the top flap there. Okay, so that gives you more stability in your envelope. Um, I didn't check for size, but it looks like we're going to be able to use a um, index card which is awesome because remember I'm making index cards in my um, whoa there they are 100 day project so each day I'm making an index card idea so we'll be able to make something to go in here okay we'll just move these okay so we have our envelope, and so we're going to wait and see how that's going to get put into um, our journal. You know what I forgot is I wanted to add, oh, here it is, my pink fabric. I was supposed to add this piece in here. So... Um, I think we'll wait though. Let's see, because if I end up putting this down like that, then that would be a waste. But you know what? We'll still we will still need it inside there. So, but yeah. So let's. Go, sorry. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make an an insert for inside our envelope. Okay. So I'm gonna just come right over here. Put that in where my strips are going okay so that gives me that and then we'll come over here Okay, I'm going to go along the edge. 
of the ones that I want to put inside. And go ahead and use this to help. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these pieces where I want them. These up here. And then I can lay this down on the inside. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to leave this for right now. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for right now. Okay. But we do, at least we've gotten that on the inside there, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and get our fold going here. Okay, so this is ready. I'll be able to glue that down if if I need to do it that way or if I want to glue it down like this and give us an extra pocket. Um, we will see. But that is making an envelope out of fabric using a template. Okay, so next I have this um, this piece here. And I am going to make an insert for the journal. And um, it's kind of like, for this page right here, kind of like adding a um, doily in. It's mostly because it's pretty. Okay, it gives... Um, okay, and... The, this is the back side, so we're going to go ahead and put our ruffle on top. Okay. Okay, so that's that side. Then I want to, this is going to be my other, my other side here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to make this my envelope okay so um we're going to go ahead and put my envelope back together here here so the envelope that i used as a template okay and it's going to come and go on top of here Okay, so just like that, I'm going to have this pocket here and I'll also have this pocket here. Okay, so let's go around. I am using fabric tag because I am putting this onto fabric. I got my little bottles at Spectrum Art Creations. Um, they are making my fabric tack last so much longer get that little tiny bead here make sure that we've got a good good amount on those top edges okay so we're going to put this down onto our ruffly fabric there okay So that's going to give me a page like that and we have a pocket here so something is going to be able to go in there now I am going to bring this as far over as I can okay let's go ahead and give this a you know what We'll give it a some um, fabric tack because that will help with <laughs> the stability. So we're just going to put some fabric tack down in where the crease will be. Fold it over. Folding it over. Okay. 
again, this is going to help with the stability. It's like when I add um, washi tape to the edge of a lined paper or whatever, and it it just it just adds stability to the page. Okay, so we're going to get a double tuck. We're going to go ahead and put our glue down here. and put that like that and that's going to give us two pockets one here and one here now <clears throat> we are going to go ahead and let's use this little piece right here oh you know what we can go inside this pocket like we did on the other one okay Yeah, look at there. Okay, so let's go ahead, pull this off. Okay, and we'll grab our plastic again. We'll go ahead and get this ready to go down into the envelope. Okay, and just like I did the other one, I'm going to put glue on the V. And put that in there. Line it up where I want it on here. Okay, and then press it down. Okay. Make sure it dries before I put before I put it down. Now on this one, since it's a double tuck, I'm going to make it a double double tuck, and we'll start our. We'll go ahead and put our our There we go. That's going to give us. Little tuck space here, tuck space here, tuck space here, and a tuck space there. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta tell it where. Tell it who's who's the boss. Who's the boss? Okay. Now you see we're gonna want something on this outside here. So let's go ahead and get into our edges. I mean, our edges, our stripe pieces. And you know what? I kind of, kind of like this. It's not quite straight. This one's straight though. We have so, such a variety of fabrics that we are able to use. And I want to use all the scraps if I can. You know, it's like, it's better to use them than have them go into a box somewhere never to be used. Or that's just how I, I feel about them. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add to the edge here. I'm going to go up one side, come down, come across, and come down right next to the edge. Okay, again, this is going to give us stability on this edge because we've got a really fine fabric here. Okay. or my bone folder it's not out so I'll just do that okay the um, items that we put in here those are also going to help okay you know what we can leave those on there we'll decide at the end if we want to take them off okay and then we have this area down here 
that we might want to go ahead and add something there. I'm thinking, how about the middle one? Yeah, if we go with the middle one there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and rip here. and here okay so this is the fabric that we stamped on during the altar fabric um, series where we did seven seven different ways to alter fabric okay Okay, so I really like that. We need to do something here. So let's go ahead, come over here. And we'll just do a little bit of a an angle. So we don't lose um, the image images. Okay. Let's go ahead and add our fabric tag here and here and across here. Could have put another pocket here if you wanted to. You're probably surprised I didn't because you know I love pockets and I cannot lie. I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the edge and then we'll go ahead and put this down so edge to edge and down okay okay so this is what we have for this side this is what we have for this side you know, I think we still need something here, and I think there was, yeah, there's this little panel. I like that. I think we'll we'll put that on. Um, we will make it a. Uh, a tuck. No, we'll make it a pocket from the side. From the inside, because we we need the stability on this outside. We're going to give it a couple of... Okay, and remember, then also we'll have cards or something on the other side. <clears throat> We can come off the edge. Okay. Okay. So let's see how that does. Oh yeah, much better. You see that? Okay. I think I do want to we'll let these we'll let these go. Okay. So that gives us page idea. And we used up this, which is good. We want to we want to be using our little our little things. We might be able to come back here and add a pocket or something. Remember, we're going to be able to see through there. Okay, so two envelope ideas so far, and next I have the patchwork that was left over after we had. Um, after we had cut it off. And we're just gonna turn this into a long page with top pockets. Could do side pockets or top pockets. Okay, we are gonna want glue down the center. Okay, 
and let's go, let's hurry. Remember, you, any of this stuff that I'm doing with the fabric tag, you could do with your sewing machine. And you'll get that extra texture look of the sewing machine, which will be amazing. Oh, I guess we did a side pocket on this one. <laughs> okay, so this one will go with the, the top pocket. Oh, well, you know, sometimes. Okay. Okay, this is going to give us another set of, another set of pages. Okay, because large and small pages count. Okay, so this has this funny little thing happening here. How about we go ahead and... We'll save that. That's really. Maybe, you know, I'm thinking blue. I think we need to add blue. We'll add blue here. Okay. So we'll, we'll just add an edge. Okay. So I have, um, other things that I want to add to this and I can add those whoops to these um, these plain pages okay put that on there we go okay so this one's going to have a top pocket and this one's going to have a side pocket and it's going to fold like that Okay, so that gives me another page to go in the journal. <clears throat> and of course, you can add more to that. Um, these are not part of my 15, so I'm not adding my extra three things to it. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and pull out the journal. And let's count our pages. We have one, two three, four, and so one of those is probably going to get added in here. So that's four, that's 16 pages there. Okay, so counting front and back. And we count, I count the large and the small pages. We have one, two, three, and then this is going to be able to, to count as four because it does come apart and you've got all those pages, okay? So I, do, I did have to uh, make this smaller for it to fit in the center and I'll show you how I did that in, um, in a video later, okay? <clears throat> so one, two, three, four here also. So that's 16. That's 32 pages. This is the cover that I'm playing with at this time. And so we can go ahead and put these in. Okay, let's see if the, I don't remember, <laughs> see if I can remember where that, oh, that's going on here. Okay, so this page is going to come in as a page. Okay, remember it's coming in as a page. Just like that. Okay. And then this could... come in and fit like that but I'm thinking because we we're gonna have a funny amount so let's put that right up there okay 
Okay, so patchwork, we're probably going to want patchwork in this one. Well, okay, I think this can go inside here. What do you think? And that will count as two more pages. This is the very center of this signature. Let's go ahead and put this down. Okay. And this will give us another double tuck. A little different. But that one envelope size, side will count as two pages. Okay, let's close this off like we did. Could could have left this open. Okay, but we're making it's going to be another double double tuck. Okay, so we will have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here. A pocket here this little pocket here okay and this will be a page also okay the um, this journal will get stitched here but this will count as two pages one two okay even though this closes up okay it's gonna close up still but that page is in there. Okay. Now we can go ahead and put our patchwork page here. What if we put it up? Okay, so these blocks are opposite. And put this one here. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Oh, and I gotta refold this. Okay, so oh, this is our first page. Two, three, four, five, six, and a and a half because there's that one on the inside. Okay, and then we'll come this way. There's our accordion pocket. Okay, I love it. Okay, so this has six and a half. So that's 24, 25, 26 pages in that piece. And this one, one, two, three, four. So 16 in this one. Okay, so 16 and 26. That's uh, 42. So we need two more pages and we'll do two pages to add in here. And so we'll be back with those tomorrow. I'm trying to make these videos not too long so that I can, um, so I don't start coughing because it's pretty crazy. Okay, so uh, come back tomorrow. We are going to uh, be making a couple more small pages that we can add in to the journals. And so this is what we did today. We did this with the, the lace piece from the bed skirt the ruffle here remember there's a pocket here and a pocket here and then our little places here we did a double tuck okay 
Then this just is the patchwork. It has an open pocket on the side on one side and the top on the other, okay? And I really like the way those turned out. And then we have our other little double tuck envelope that is made strictly out of fabric and has been added to the inside here. It gives us a page that um, has two sides, okay? So there is what we've got so far. And okay, so watch for more tomorrow. What is your favorite so far? I love, or the favorite today, I love the way this turned out. And we actually used the envelope here and, um, and that's okay because um, I gave you the option to use just fabric or to use fabric and paper mixed. I wanted to challenge myself and see how much I could do with just fabric, but I wanted to show you this idea with, with the, um, so that's, that's how that came about. Okay. So I think this is supposed to come over a little bit is the way that this, that I switched this up. Okay. Like that. And then this one comes over and in. And that will be the center of this signature. Okay. Patchwork. Okay, so we'll be uh, playing with this a little bit, figuring out the best way of doing things. And okay, so find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Bye. Bye bye.